Woo! I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. I woke up to an announcement today I didn't expect. Starfield. How many of you guys like the, the game Starfield, man? I really enjoyed Starfield. I thought it was a phenomenal experience. It fell short in some areas, but for the most part, Starfield was a great, a great time for me, man. Uh, but one of the key things I didn't like was that lack of 60 frames, man. That lack of 60 frames. But it's looking like it's looking like we're actually going to get that, man. If you guys look at the screen here, you'll see that they're actually doing that 60 frames. one. So here, Kami, appreciate him for uh, putting all the info in one place. We're getting a huge update on Starfield on May the 15th. Let's go over these. 60 frames and 40 frames modes on Starfield. Pretty much giving you more options on what you want to do in terms of if you want to see the game look better, if you want to see the game run better, and they're giving you more options in the middle. They're doing a more of a custom difficulty screen, so it's extreme after that. It's interesting. More detailed surfaces on the map. I, for one, like this. I was not a huge fan of how Starfield handled the world maps on their game. I felt like Starfield could give you more information. More information is never bad. It's always good. And the fact that you couldn't even see where the stores were, I felt like was a huge red flag. So we're going to get more of that. New ship customization. If you guys saw my review on Starfield, you'll know that that was one of the big things that I... Uh, played it. One of the huge things that I love Starfield about was the ship combat, the ship gameplay in general, and the fact that I'll be able to customize the ships in general is huge for me. Respect and change appearances. So <laughs> when you do new game plus, you know, I will say that Starfield has a very unique concept on how they do new game plus, but now you'll be able to actually change the the loadouts change who you play as change what you look as there's a lot of things going into that creation kit going out to beta testers now we're going to go big into the modding support i think we've all said in terms of mod support when starfield gets to the point where they can you know do in-depth mods it's going to be really big for them and i think this is going to be you know the start of that land vehicles confirmed for a later date some of these maps, especially some of these land zones, it was annoying to just walk around. I feel like there should be a place you can go to buy land vehicles where you could just drop it off and, you know, drive around. Makes the game a lot more fun in a lot of ways. Look, Bethesda, thank you. Land vehicles, new ship customization, more details on your map. In 60 frame mode, performance mode for the Xbox Series X is, is a huge possibility. Uh, you know, we've all said this for a while, especially the, the 60 frames. The fact that you guys finally delivered that. Now, obviously, I will say, oh, this should have been their day one. But I'm not going to go against this. Because at the end of the day, they didn't have to do any of this. You know, Starfield was extremely successful regardless what you guys want to fill and the fact that they made sure to just go ahead and give you the updates that we've been asking for is really going forward with this uh you know we got the expansion later on this year that's probably when i'll jump back on it but now because they're giving you a 60 frames mode on the series x i'll be able to play the expansion on xbox itself look great moves great updates for xbox i feel like bethesda needed this for starfield you know starfield was definitely up and down in terms of how it was received by the industry and received by uh you know critics the player base people who enjoy bethesda games I feel like it was up and down i myself solid eight out of ten game now if these features was in their day one it would have been closer to a nine than an eight because especially the map section. Sometimes when I'm looking on a map and I'm just trying to see if there's any stores, it was very frustrating if I couldn't find them. 60 frames was always important regardless what happens. I feel like 
giving your consumers to giving the gamers who buy your games more options rather than less is always something you should thrive for. And that would have been very nice if that was a day one thing. Land vehicles would have been day one thing. I think this game would have been a substantial improvement over what we got with Starfield day one. And you can make a little bit of an argument on, is it okay for companies like this to give you a, a product such as Starfield and then within a year start improving aspects of the game? Uh, should that be day one or not? Now, as far as like making stuff more of a quality of life updates, <coughs> I can understand that a little bit more. Uh, but the 60 frames, in my personal opinion, that should have been their day one. You know, that's how the game plays, especially when you see a lot of uh, games in general doing performance modes. I do feel like the performance mode should have been there. One thing I've always said is that performance mode, it can work. It just resources and the time it takes to actually make it. Xbox and Bethesda had this game out last year, so it would make sense that this is something that they had to push back a little bit to get that 60 frames mode. Uh, we'll probably see it with Hellblade 2. We saw it with a variety of games. Redfall. It's not a matter if the Series X can run these games at 60 frames. It's a matter of how long it's going to take to actually get hit that 60 frame mark. And I'm, I'm cool with this, man. I'm cool with this. I still think 60 frames should have been there at launch. But now that this is going on with the new ship customization and the surface maps, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll stream this game on the Attic Arena. I don't know. But tell me what you guys feel in the comment section below. Do you think it's too little, too late? Obviously, there's a lot of people that haven't played Starfield. Maybe this is one of those incentives that's like, you know, if you haven't played it, now we're offering you a 60 frames mode on the Xbox, along with a lot of quality of life updates. Uh, it's never too little, too late to me. You know, there's always people that's not played Starfield, and this might give them a reason to try it out because you're seeing that 60 frame mode. Keep in mind, this is in Game Pass, so it's easier to commit to it now since you got that performance mode. Very curious to hear your guys' opinion, though. Do you think that, you know, they shouldn't do stuff like this if you does, do, doesn't do it day one? I don't think no one's really going to say that too much. I feel like everyone's on the same page in terms of, you know, give the consumer what they ask for but i do think there is a debate and a solid discussion on whether or not it's right for companies to release these patches a year into the development when it should have been there day one i'm very curious your guys' opinion on that put in the comment section below what you guys feel about that if you guys enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button it's always appreciated getting more into the content creation uh, definitely go over there and follow me on Twitter, Lord Addict ILP. You can follow my streaming channel at Addicts Arena. All that's in the description below. Appreciate all the support you guys give me. Until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.